Meantime, here at home, under the district's COVID-19 requirements, unvaccinated Grossmont Cuyamaca College employees will have to start using their accrued time to stay employed. KUSI's Teresa Sardina joins us live from El Cajon. She's got the latest on that and also what many are doing to try to bring more attention to what's happening there in the college community. Teresa? Good evening, Logan. I'm here at Grossmont College, and tomorrow staff, faculty, and students will be rallying because they're not happy with how the spring semester looks. Now, the semester started three weeks ago, and employees were able to work remotely, but starting tomorrow, that changes for unvaccinated employees. Under Grossmont Cuyamaca Community College District's COVID-19 vaccination requirement, dozens of unvaccinated employees will be off starting February 22nd using accrued time, vacation, and sick hours. The district notifying KUSI using accrued time to absent an employee from work is an accommodation. The communication is really sketchy at best. We are not sure why they won't let us back on campus. They won't let us work remotely as we've been doing for the past two years. Grossmont College tutor specialist of three years, Carolyn Fisher, had her religious exemption approved and agreed to the accommodation. Now she's off for 30 days plus because she wants to stay employed. Moving forward, I have no job technically. I'm using my vacation time. I take care of the tutors and I plan their scheduling and I train the tutors and that's a big part of the cl classes and that's a big part for the students. Just five days before the spring college semester started, January 31st, KUSI met with several employees from Grossmont College that had their exemptions approved, hoping to resume working as they were in the fall semester. The unvaccinated were able to work on campus and test weekly, wear a mask, socially distance. Some were able to work remotely when advised, depending on position. And right before the spring semester started, they had to let the district know what their plan was moving forward. Forward. Either use accrued time until February 22nd or face discipline. One employee we spoke to was given the option to work remotely since he's retiring this year. As Fisher will be off for over a month, some employees have accrued time that would carry them out for the entire semester. Now, starting tomorrow, those unvaccinated employees will no longer be able to work remotely, but the unvaccinated students will be able to study remotely, but not able to be on campus to get classes they need, such as labs. So starting tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning to 10, dozens of staff, faculty, and students will be rallying across the street from Grossmont College. They really want to bring awareness to the community of what is happening within the school district. Reporting from Grossmont College, Teresa Sardina, KUSI News. And I'm sure we'll be covering it. Teresa, thanks. We just put up the information if you'd like to join in. Thank you.